One of the other presenters at this year's Power Farming Show was Nebraska Extension's Paul Yassa. Paul discussed the use of cover crops as part of a cropping rotation. We talked with Paul here and started by asking about producers' interest in using cover crops. Cover crops uh, used to be out there all the time when every farmer had a little bit of livestock, every farmer needed to grow a little bit of feed for the livestock or a little bit of nitrogen for his own crop. In fact, our uh, grandparents, uh, probably following almost any farmer in the state, was an organic producer growing some nitrogen. Now we're figuring out we can do that with cover crops as well. What are the common questions that producers have when they think about using or starting to use cover crops? Well, usually I get the phone call that says, what should I plant for a cover crop? I point blank ask them, what are you trying to do with the cover crop? And that you have to know. If I'm trying to grow some nitrogen, I'm going to plant a legume. If I'm trying to reduce erosion, I'm going to plant a grass, fast-growing grass in particular. If I'm trying to anchor the soil, I'm going to do something with a fibrous root system. So again, you need to know what they're trying to accomplish before you make a recommendation. Can you explain more on how cover crops could help you manage nitrogen? Well, cover crops, uh, they're sort of two-edged when it comes to nitrogen management. Uh, the first off is that we have a lot of our producers out there who put on a little bit more nitrogen than they should. And we get some excessive rain, some excessive irrigation, we leach some of that nitrate down to the groundwater. Well, I can use a cover crop after my cash crop to become a, a nutrient capture device, sort of grow the nitrogen from the soil into a biomass form. So I can store my nitrogen, get it released next year when that residue breaks down. The other side is I can plant a cover crop like a legume to actually make some nitrogen and purchase less fertilizer. And again, that's a grandpa day because he didn't have fertilizer to buy. What role does water play, or what role do cover crops play in either depleting or helping to save water? Well, it depends a little bit on where we're at. If we're back east, uh, out in the central corn belt, and we got excess water, I'm going to grow cover crop to grow the water out rather than lose the water to, say, tile drainage or surface drainage. If I'm out west, I might grow a cover. It sounds odd. Yes, it's going to use some water, but it's going to keep the sun and wind off the soil surface to reduce evaporation. A bare soil has a lot more evaporation than any farmer's ever thought about and keeping the sun and wind off makes a big difference. Now the danger is, is uh, if I'm going to plant the cover in the fall, I'm making a guess next spring, is it going to be wet or dry, hot or cold? I'm not sure, it makes it a little harder to guess. What are the challenges in planting and then uh, killing off the cover crop? The planting comes down to a little bit, what is your cash crop you're following? If it's something like wheat or corn silage, I've got a lot longer season to grow, I got more selection of crops I can plant. If it's corn or soybeans and it's a delayed harvest like some of our friends had this year, then you got a lot shorter list of things you can choose from. But the difference is too as well as are they going to overwinter? Is the frost going to kill it? Is the winter going to kill it? Or is it going to be growing next spring? I love cover crops so the winter kills it for me. But next spring, again, I trust the 30-day forecast perhaps. So if it's going to be wet, let the cover crop grow and use the water. If it's dry, go ahead and kill it early so it doesn't use too much water. I assume the overarching question here is, do cover crops pay? In the short term, I doubt it'll show up in the balance sheet that it pays. In the long term, it's going to build a healthier soil, more resilient soil that's going to pay in the future. And uh, I sort of ask farmers, I say, how many of you guys change oil in your tractor? That doesn't pay. It costs you money, but it makes the tractor last longer. How many build terraces on land? That doesn't pay. It costs money, but land lasts longer. I think cover crops and soil life is going to be about the same way. We're going to invest some now to build for the future.